Right now, there are hundreds of illegal marijuana grows operating in areas across El Paso County. Investigative reporter Patrick Nelson spent weeks looking into the impact of the black market marijuana. He's in studio with a closer look at why both officers and residents are concerned here. Patrick. That's right. To understand just how big this problem is here in El Paso County, we have to take a look at the numbers. The El Paso County Sheriff tells me that at the start of 2018, there was an estimated 650 illegal marijuana grows countywide. Since then, a change in state law significantly reduced the number of plants that can be legally grown per household. And this is what happened. What that did is it allowed officers to really crack down on illegal grows. Now it's believed there are less than 300 in El Paso County. Manpower wise, we don't even have anywhere near the amount of manpower, and this is the largest sheriff's office in the state. It's a multi agency effort fighting illegal marijuana operations in El Paso County. The black and gray market is alive and well. Lieutenant Bill Hoffer is spearheading the operation. We've pulled dozens of firearms out. Um, we have convicted felons that are running these black market grows. They have millions and millions of dollars invested into their operation and they want to protect it. The dangers haven't stopped investigators from targeting these grows at a record pace. In 2018, investigators served 105 search warrants tied to marijuana. That's an operational tempo that um, most tactical teams would have a difficult time keeping up with. Also following up crucial Crime Stoppers tips from the public, going door to door at 89 homes in and around Colorado Springs. In their 2018 searches in El Paso and Teller counties, investigators seized 7,520 marijuana plants, more than 1,800 pounds of processed marijuana, 175 weapons, more than $1,500 in cash, and made 43 arrests. What these drug trafficking organizations try and do is hide in plain sight, and they try and hide under the guise of medical marijuana mostly. But black market marijuana grows are just part of the problem. Even legal dispensaries must be carefully watched. Not just us, but the police department as well, Metro VNI. They've had cases where uh, people might be selling marijuana out the back door of a dispensary, uh, things like that. So that we call that gray because while it's a legal operation on its face, there may be some criminal activity behind the scenes. Initially, a Colorado resident could grow almost 600 marijuana plants in their home. But a 2017 change in state law capped that number at 12 plants. Sheriff Elder says that has helped investigators crack down, but the state could still use stiffer penalties. You can't just slap somebody's hand if they're growing 600 plants and expect them to stop. The return on investment for moving marijuana into other parts of the country is so high that the risk has, has got to be um, worse than the reward. John Harding is a Colorado Springs resident who became involved in the marijuana conversation at City Hall after witnessing a grow operation pop up on his street. Cuban nationals came in under the guise as caregivers and uh, were growing vast amounts of marijuana, hundreds of plants in a residential home. After speaking at City Council, John became a member of the city's marijuana work group. He's met with law enforcement and elected leaders all over the state. What I've seen is a drip into the system to help combat illegal marijuana. And I've seen a flood of negative ramifications that are affecting our children and our neighborhoods and our public safety. And I would just love for folks to wake up and see that. With some of Colorado Springs Council members debating whether to allow recreational marijuana, there will likely be new challenges ahead in this fight to protect public safety. In the meantime, law enforcement leaders plan to continue applying pressure on marijuana criminals. The word is out that we're coming. We're constantly chasing our tails to try and get the, the lid back on the jar, and we'll get there eventually. Uh, it's just a, it's a tough business. Now, despite eyewitness testimony, some people still don't see illegal marijuana as a threat to public safety. In response, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office is now keeping the numbers to reflect calls for service that are directly tied to marijuana. In the month of January alone, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office reports 43 emergency calls involved with marijuana. Those calls included traffic stops, burglaries, and domestic violence. Always watching out for you, Patrick Nelson, News 5 Investigates.